I'm Rollin. And I'm Lenny. And together, we're, we're the, the Manly, Manly Man Show. Show. Today, we're going to show you how to make cornhole boards. I know there's a thousand videos out there to make them, but ours is a little bit different. We got a handle, we got latches. Go ahead and loosen that latch over there, Lenny. Set this one off the ground. Open it up. The design's just the same. We have carriage boats holding in two legs. Flip it over. And there you go. As I was looking to do this, I looked at YouTube for reference because I ain't never built one before. And I'll go ahead and give you the quick run through what everything you need to know. From this top point to the bottom of your leg, it's going to be 12 inches off the ground. The base sets on the bottom. You have a six inch, uh, three inch radius hole that's nine inches down, 12 inches across centered. And the rest is you can do whatever you want. I made mine out of one by fours because I wanted to tote it like a suitcase. I put two supports in here that'll help with the bounce issue I've heard a lot of people talk about. But let me show you what all you need to do to have to make this now. All you need is a two by four. Uh, I bought two by four by eight. You need four 12 inch pieces. You need a 24 by 48 foot plywood, two of those. And you need four one by four by eights. That would be your skeleton for it. Hardware, we got carriage bolts, three and a half inches long, two washers, and a lock nut. And we have those nifty little locking mechanisms for the two to sides, and a handle. That's all you need. I think everything together probably costs you under 40 bucks. That's just one side. So to make two, it'd be about $80. Okay. All right. And the tools you're going to need, first off, a little bit of liquid engineering. I think you dropped me out of this one. <laughs> ah, that's right. Okay. For starters, a tape measure. A carpenter square. A pencil, and a Lutz pocket hole jig kit, a pair of channel locks, a compass, an uh, assortment of screws, uh, a hammer, a ratchet for tightening up the carriage bolt. Four decently sized clamps and a half inch wrench to go with the socket. Glue and glue. No, just uh oh, also as far as power tools go, well we love power tools. Some drills. And then at the end, if you want, some sanding paper on a sanding block. So you make your cuts, what you want to do is your four one by fours by eights, you're going to cut two to 48 inches, probably four for both of them. We're going to do, worry about one side right now. And then we're going to cut four for 22 and a half inch, let me make sure, 22 and five eighths. That'll make up the thickness for a full 24 inches because these will be on the inside. Next, what you want to do is put your pocket holes in with your jig. And you see I've already done all these boards trying to make this video short. Put two on the outside, and I put three going down. Just make sure you have all of them. And on your long boards, you want just three, just something to help hold it. And when you put it in, just make sure you have all your pocket holes lined up together. Put the edge piece in first and then the middle piece right there. Always use glue. It helps to make a stronger bond. Push it up in there. Oh, by the way, this L configuration, I just use scrap wood and some clamps. And I set it up with my square make sure it was good and level, level, good and plumb. 
and the screws because it's supposed to be with a regular jig you're supposed to be using two by fours the inch and a quarters do not work i found that came through the other side oh yeah pulled in real good make sure it's good and level. going down so these are going to be going down flip it over so i can pull. pockets holes on top again so this one, and we're going to just go ahead and glue both sides. But for that mount support that we talked about earlier, we're going to put some runners in there. I always just mark it on every 16. Because it's 48 inches, make three equal parts, holes, outer sides, and then one, two, three to go down. And now pocket holes going up, so we just match it up to it. And I like to hide it facing the inside, that way not too many people see it unless you're the one actually owning it. And if you like to have one, we can hook you up. That right, lady's gonna come help me one more time. Sure. <clears throat> Pocket holes up, goes this way. Slide right down that mark. Dead center wrong? Yes. Same with that mark. You got yours. That way it's so much easier having half. Match up your corners. Kind of match it up real good. And what I always like to do, because you gotta glue this too. Make little pen marks. That way you know exactly where it was that you just flip it over and glue it. Come on down here and look what we're doing now. These are for the legs. These are your two by four, the eight foots. We ripped to 12 inches. Now, I forgot to tell you earlier, but you want these to be treated. Uh, I think the treated one is actually cheaper than the, the dry one. So you get a cost break there. But what we're gonna do is just take a regular old solo cup, whatever you can find, circle edge, and just draw around. Oh, it ain't gonna be perfect. Just draw around it. See why that one's not even nowhere near right. It'll be all right. All we want it to do is to swivel. So we're going to cut those out here in a minute with the jigsaw. Something else we got to do is make sure you find center. Three and a half be one and three quarters. And then mark down one and a half inches. Be right there. So center should be right in there somewhere. Drill out the hole. Now 
working on a dead tree car because it's normally not my thing, but Rollin asked me to help, so I'm gonna help. So first I'm gonna take a three-inch carriage bolt. We're gonna drive it through the hole that Rollin pre-drilled for us. There we go. Let's take our uh, washer. I'm gonna slide a washer in. Line up our hole in our two by four. Followed up by another washer and a self-locking nut. Here we'll use the uh, we use the channel locks to hold the other side of the carriage bolt to start off with. We'll just tighten her up. Whichever side you want your hole to be, like I think this top part will probably be where I want my hole. That's the side you put your legs. Oh. I'll just use a piece of cut off wood as a shim. Push that up in there. Just drill straight through your hole. And then do it again on the other side. Uh, we did these legs straight. And like I told you earlier, the top of this has to be 12 inches. And with this speed square, look at there, we have 12 inches. So we want this that height. Right, we're just gonna kick this other leg back in, pull it off the edge a little bit, and make sure it's in the full back position because that's the way it's gonna be when it's on the ground. You pitch it. You want that to line up pretty good. Like I said, I eyeball a lot of stuff and it's never hurt me yet. Push it against the table, double check, and when you think you have it where you want it, just draw your mark. And that we're going to cut off. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Cut them off, and then I'll show you the finished project. And now all we gotta do is make the hole. And you're gonna come down nine inches, and you're gonna come over 12. And this will be the center part of our board. Now you take your compass, you set it on three inches and you go around but you have to be careful with these cheapo ones so what i like to do is find my center again mark six and twelve that way and nine and fifteen that way because it's going to be a six inch hole and you can just put your mark right down in on that plus start it off at the three inch hold it as tight as you can and go right around. Get him. These are cheap old sets, but I'm cheap and it works. Now we're going to take and drill us a starter hole. And then we're gonna put the jigsaw in here and round this out. That's it. Uh, leave some comments, let us know some feedback. Don't forget to leave the comments below, man. We love you guys, come on. And tell everybody you can about us because we really love to do this stuff and we'd love to make some new movies, some more videos for y'all. I think we're gonna have some uh, four-wheeler stuff we put on because he is the mechanical aspect of it and the motor aspect. He's the dead tree carcass molester. <laughs> and uh, hopefully we can find a couple of projects we can combine both our experiences with and show y'all so y'all can have a good time and we have a good time doing it. So please leave comments, subscribe. Thank y'all.